I'm your host, Alex Jones, and we are going to be here for the next three hours today. We have several special reports that are going to premiere here on the radio in the third hour today, including the proof that, yes, the U.N. Treaty does restrict your Second Amendment and proof that Obama is coming after your guns. It's on. They're moving on every front. They're going to shut down the industry. They're going to raise the taxes. They're going to put in the carbon taxes. All of it designed. You see all these businesses finally shutting down now that Obama's been reelected. Tens of thousands being laid off just in the first day. It's because a lot of companies operate on such small profit margins that they cannot compete uh, with the government health care system. Uh, also increasing the price of health care. They can barely hang on against China, against India, against Mexico, who don't have any health care, any workers comp, make you work 18 hours a day, suicide nets at the Apple factories. And so it's like, okay, we're shutting down. We're closing our doors. We're gone. We're not going to hire anybody. Or we're going to lay off you know, half our workforce. Or all the big corporations are saying, you know what? You get 20 hours a week now instead of 40, so you don't get your uh, insurance. And so that's great. That's the plan. Now you'll go from 25 million on food stamps when Obama got in to right at 50 million. It'll go to 100 mil. And the even more will shut down until we have the gas shortages, the food shortages. That This is a plan. They did this in China. They did this in Russia. They did this in Cuba. They did this everywhere. They've been doing it in Venezuela. And this is it. Until those of us that even know how to work are in forced labor camps producing for the uh, welfare queens uh, walking around with their submachine guns uh, beating us over the head with shovels. Now, it'll never get to that point. It, it got to that point in North Korea, got to that point to a great extent in Cuba, got to that point in the Soviet Union, got that point in China. China got smart and made a deal with the globalists who put them in place to begin with in 49 to be uh, just a slave system, more of a fascist system, calling itself communist. Uh, but, but allowing some free enterprise. Uh, but they're not going to do that. They're going to strangle the goose with the golden eggs because they hate America so much. And it's about total domination. And so there will be plenty of cream in the globalist bunkers. Uh, the armored redoubts and the new uh, status will be black uniforms. Won't matter if you live in a little hovel and you know don't get a lot of food either. At least you're going to get to strut around into the new austerity and check some papers and break some jaws, all right, and run some checkpoints and see the once great citizens pull up to them and be scared. Uh, this is the pure baptism and enslavement because we think abortion's good. I mean, I was thinking about it this morning, and it really hit me that I need to codify an entire 10-minute special report on this and not just get on the air and talk about it and really break down an epiphany I had about abortion. You know, I knew this about abortion, but it really hit me in like a five, ten minute epiphany where I just stood there with my hand on the counter after my wife and children uh, had uh, left before I came into the office. They were gone on some errands. I just sat there and it all made perfect sense. Because if you'll say those aren't humans and that that's not a life and you've got that choice and all the excuses, once you have the abortion... You're now committed to that idea, and you'll commit to any other rationalization. Now, a lot of people have been involved in abortions, and uh, as long as you realize it's, it was wrong what you did and understand the fraud of it, you're cleansed. It's a great weight off your shoulders. I know. But I'll tell you, those of you out there, it is your religion. When I said women who have all these abortions and, and love abortion and, and are proud of it and brag about it, they, their wombs are temples to human sacrifice. They are the ultimate Satanist. They have murdered their children. And that is the plan. Yes, they, they're going to collapse us into total tyranny. And the domesticated masses will not know any better. And they will demand anyone who has any money, any property, that everything be taken from you until finally uh, you are physically put in forced labor camps. That, that is what every socialist and communist country ends up collapsing into uh, if the people put up with it. That's where it leads is the North Korean, Soviet, communist, Chinese, uh, you know, Foxcom, Apple, uh, suicide nets around the building, forced abortions, uh, you know, inside. Uh, that's where it leads. That, that's who these people are. That's what they create. 
that is uh, what they push uh, in every single case. So uh, Ron Paul, the congressman, uh, will be joining us to break all of that down uh, later in the hour. On top of all of that, they're pushing the fiscal cliff, and this has been done in Europe over and over again. Uh, they've the, the the globalists, the mega banks that brag that they've conquered our country and the rest of the world through fraud and derivatives and manipulation, hold everyone hostage, saying the economy is going to implode unless you give us carbon taxes, increase carbon taxes, VAT taxes, uh, higher income taxes, and they call it austerity. And then the prostitute media uh, plays along with it and never points out that almost all the debt is really uh, from bailing out the mega banks themselves. So that is some of the information uh, that we're going to be covering uh, on that front as well today. And again, Cole's election loss could mean gain for carbon tax. Bloomberg, uh, The Hill, uh, carbon tax could be in Obama's toolbox. Bloomberg, Obama may levy carbon tax to cut U.S. deficit, HSBC says. That's where this is going. On top of a VAT, Obama's set to give a speech today, and you know he's going to talk about how we're in trouble, why the economy just imploded the day after I got elected. Again, the same mega banks that financed to get him back into office and finance Romney just to make doubly sure they maintain control. Either way, their guy got in. They dropped the hammer after the election because they'd been somewhat propping it up because now they're going to the next phase of austerity. And when they raise taxes, just like they've done in California or like they've done in other countries, uh, like Greece and other places, it actually lowers revenue and kills business. That's the plan. You don't want people uppity with their own businesses running around with money in the bank. You want them with the hands out. That's why they, they uh, Chris Matthews has said it. Uh, Michael Moore has said it, how great the storm is because it makes you dependent and it teaches you to be dependent. Of course, uh, we see 11 days without power. Sandy victims want answers. We have other reports. Power outages continue to plague New Jersey, New York, you name it. 30-hour uh, wait for fuel offers plenty of intrigue, but no gas. New York Daily News. Gas rationing, New Yorkers welcomed to the third world. Ready to snap in Cedar Grove. Residents are at 10th and 11th day, no power. And what they're really freaking out about is the liquor deliveries aren't happening. The alcohol has run out. There's more looting, more crime going on, but the media is keeping it quiet. Bitter cold inside disaster shelter. Even the government shelters in places like Marlboro uh, don't have power. That's the type of information that we have here. All right. Now, there's your government. 11 days can't, won't help you. But we're bad if we say that you should get prepared. We're bad if we say you should have a year of food, you should have firearms, you should know how to fix basic stuff in your house or car, you should know how to run a trot line, you should know how to... Uh, clean a firearm. You should know how to stomp somebody's button to the ground if they assault you. But the new religion in America, there's three groups of people, really. There's globalist, technocratic, crime syndicates that, that know the street, know how the world works, and decided to, 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 to fleece the sheep. You've got good, hardworking people that try to work within the system that's fraudulent, who are being attacked and, 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 and destroyed, and then you have the giant mass of dumbed down Kim Kardashian you know, fans who don't even know what day of the week it is, literally, who were in helpless zombie-like states, and all they know how to do is beg and plead and demand that somebody else's stuff is theirs. They are going to literally, societally, culturally eat us alive. This has happened everywhere. It's not like we're just theorizing. This is guaranteed. It's like you got gangrene on your leg and your toes are turning black uh, and, and smelling. It, they're going to have to cut those toes off. And if they don't, you're going to lose the whole leg and then your whole body, you're going to die. Well, uh, we have gangrene, flesh-eating bacteria all over us politically, okay? We're stumbling around. Snot's coming out of our nose. Our eyes are bloodshot. We've got 110 fever. This country is on death's doorstep, which is the plan. 
going from liberty and 4% of the world's population having half the wealth because we weren't perfect, we had more freedom, and so it was a cornucopia. It was an engine of wealth. And we, we became spoiled brats and people learned to sit around or get government jobs and, you know, festoon themselves and convince themselves that they make the earth, you know, turn and the grass grow and the birds sing. And, uh, I mean, we, look, I've been saying it. We're far gone. We're over the cliff. It's all designed. Ron Paul's now saying that. In fact, guys, will you print me that stack of Ron Paul uh, articles? Oh, no, actually, here they are. Good, I found them. And I know you gave them to me. I couldn't find them. Ron Paul, election shows U.S. far gone. Washington Times, uh, The Hill. Ron Paul, we're already over the fiscal cliff. Yeah, by design. Ron Paul, America already over the cliff. Wall Street Journal goes on with it. Okay, he's going to come on. We've got questions for him. The point is <clears throat> that this is an engineered situation. Now, now I spent three days making sure of this, and I went and checked at blackboxvoting.org, her numbers, uh, in the past, Bev Harris was a pretty much a Democrat. She calls herself an independent because she realizes they're all a mafia. She helped expose Republican theft of elections. So we're not saying Mitt Romney's good. Uh, the, the, we had Obama supporters calling yesterday. You heard me open the phones for him. We're going to do it again today, later after Ron Paul leaves us. And I would say, now listen, my guy didn't lose. Mitt Romney's a globalist, but the referendum, if you believe this election certifying that people say, yeah, you didn't build that, I want an Obama phone, and the government needs to give us a little something. We went out and interviewed Obama supporters at the Driscoll of the Democratic Party of Texas celebration here in the capital city of Texas, Austin, and, and that's what they were all saying. Yeah, we need to help people, we need to give people money, give them free health care, give them free education. There's, an, there's no such thing as free. When you start giving it out free, it starts debasing everything. Uh, Democrats polled want quantitative easing. They want money printing. They just don't get it, folks. They really are in this weird, starstruck fantasy. Does that mean Republicans are good? No, they like torture, secret arrest, lying wars. They bought into their own brand of evil. The point is, if they would have kicked Obama out, that would have been, hey, incumbents, look out. Hey, you know, people are mad. The fact that things are so bad, Obama's been caught lying so much, NDAA, torture, secret arrest, hiring nothing but lobbyists, signing statements, all the insider deals, shutting down the coal plant, shipping General Motors to China, Solyndra, all the, I mean, just makes Bill Clinton look like a saint. It's not that Bill Clinton's a saint, he's actually running this administration. It's a Clinton operation, folks. It's on record. It's that things are so far gone now, they get away with anything. Just Department running fast and furious. The list goes on and on. And meanwhile, they're buying 1.6 billion bullets. They're digging in. They're fortifying police stations. They're training them that gun owners and libertarians are the enemy, that those that don't, don't like world government are the enemy. Those of us that understand the takeover, those of us that don't want this to happen, we are now listed as the enemy. And they're putting the Internet kill switch in with cybersecurity. And they're announcing they want the Fairness Doctrine back to shut us down. And they're doing all sorts of cyber attacks to alternative media. It's on, folks. It's on. Now, here's the good news, and I've studied this, and I can tell you right now, Bev Harris, vote fraud expert, Romney votes not counted in key states, and if you add up all the places where there was clear fraud that they wouldn't, that they admit none of the votes were counted on election day, they would just announce it, and the trends were Romney really won those states, Mitt Romney really won. Now, that's not a good thing, but it's not the worst scenario, because it just shows people at least hitting the reset button. You know, going, you know what, we don't like what Bush did, we're putting Obama in. We don't like what Obama did, we're putting Romney in. At least it shows some primitive inkling of understanding how much trouble we're in. And there's video of Bev Harris breaking it down two days ago. But we went and collated it all, you know, did our own vetting. It's accurate. It's a very important article. Because here's the deal, folks. You don't really believe that most polls showed two-thirds of people wanted GMO labeling in California. But then magically, 60% or, uh, or close to 59% voted against it. They're still counting votes. I mean, you don't really believe Californians don't want to have something labeled GMO. Does anyone buy that? Does anyone, when there's admitted election fraud everywhere, and, it, and now they call states, you know, when they haven't even counted the day's ballots, they're not even in. 
I mean, does anyone believe this? Look, here's the deal. The system's totally discredited now. They're going to say the voting machines at state level say ban guns. They're going to say that, oh, all the new property tax increases passed. Wow, who would have thought it? Oh, my gosh. You know, and, and a few times they'll let you have a few state referendums to make it look like you're having some victories. I'm telling you, folks, this is a scientific takeover where they grab power, see if we buy it. Okay, they bought it, move forward. You have to either discredit the whole system, disengage, fight against it every way you can, or we're going into a cross between the Soviet Union, Communist China, Nazi Germany, and Caesar's Rome. I mean, this is it. We're in trouble. We have been robbed. Globalism has been a curse to this country. Everything the globalists are doing worldwide is about making you dependent. I'm getting storable food. You need it because it's the only insurance that you can 100% use. I have, you know, family that are veterans and people like that uh, who can't live off their Social Security, who are disabled and things, and that's why I've bought so much food. Charity starts at home. I promote what I believe in 100%, and I believe in what they're doing 100%. And the globalists do not want you to be self-sufficient. I hope you will take action, get the six free meals when you pay for the shipping, so that you can eat them and see that it's quality. That's why I chose eFoods, is I did my research, I tested a bunch, bought a bunch. The other stuff was like cardboard or filled with MSG or made in China. So bottom line, folks, eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. Follow the banners at InfoWars.com or call the toll-free number 800-409-5633. That's 800-409-5633. We'll die for the system. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So, stocks are falling. People are laying off their employees all over the place. Because, you see, we're in a global system designed by the mega banks, and it's designed to shut down the once wealthy economies and convert them over to tyranny. And the globalists brag about this. They write about this, but that's in their economic treatises. The general public just likes to buy into whatever the mainstream media is telling them. And they're telling them the government wants you to do great and wants to help the little guys. And as more people get poor, they think, well, the answer must be government because they say they want to make me rich. And then government gets bigger, more people get poor, and they go, well, we better have a bigger government. That's what makes poor people rich. And bigger government, more poor people, until we convert from the richest country in the world to a globalist New World Order military colony where they just get conscripts. And they're coming out with the drone ships, the drone aircraft, the drone submarines, the drone soldiers. That one won't even be needed soon. You see, the future doesn't need us. Human life's always been cheap, but now, now because of robotics and automation, we're not even needed, according to the globalist. And so uh, they're just shutting down the once free society so they can convert us into pure authoritarianism ahead of forced population reduction that is that is just some of what's going on and we did a national poll that i mentioned yesterday on air but this got published by the time we went off air at 2 p.m central yesterday poll nearly one third of americans should accept tsa body cavity search in order to fly that was a harris scientific uh, poll of 2000 plus adults uh, that we uh, commissioned and you can read the full poll at infowars.com and some newspapers picked this up, um, but you, you, you would imagine that'd be a big national story. But some people are commenting, no, I think they should check us. There could be a bomb. Well, why not cut you open? There, there, you know, there could be something in your stomach. I mean, why not just not let you leave your house? How about you just live in a little confined Agenda 21 uh, ghetto uh, just for your security, of course. That's what Hitler said. Go to these ghettos that have barbed wire around them for your security. I mean, that's where this is all going. But if you advertise it as the latest, greatest thing and have Madonna promote it, well, it must be great. And the poll asked six questions. One of the others was, would you wear an electric shock or taser bracelet? Uh, poll, 35% of Americans would wear electric shock bracelet in order to fly. And uh, Homeland Security actually has taken bids and had meetings about making everyone wear it. Shocking survey results show how much freedom Americans are willing to sacrifice. Of course, they don't care if you don't like it. They'll just try to implement it. And uh, they already put you in a radiation bath uh, to... Uh, to uh, 
you know, get your authorization, um, you know, for the safety of everybody, of course. The government needs to have that happen. And they grope you, of course, for your safety. Uh, so that's what's happening in the once land of the free home of the brave because of Al-Qaeda that the government publicly runs in Libya and Syria and always ran and always will run out of Saudi Arabia. But it's just so much fun to be Islamophobic, even though the globalists run the radicals and put them in power, that it's like, so what? Just get rid of my future, get rid of my kids' future, take all my rights. Hey, but the government manuals that police and military sent us and FBI and federal marshal sent us over the years that broke over and over again national news. It says it's not about Al-Qaeda, that it's gun owners, returning veterans and farmers and people, anybody that is self-sufficient. Wow, just like how all authoritarians go after those people. This is a repeat of history right here. Lenin, Mao, this is important. And they're like, oh, yeah, well, we do need to watch those evil right wingers. I mean, they don't want us to get our Obama phone. They, I mean, what did Janet Reno say on 60 Minutes uh, back in the mid-90s? She said the, the biggest cult in America, the most dangerous people, are, quote, evangelical Christians who believe in the second coming of Christ. Why, you believe in the second coming of Christ? And that's what they teach in those manuals. And you know what? If you're a cop and you go to those intelligence training deals and you don't agree with that, they take note and you're out of there. You're back on patrol. We're going to bust you down from, you know, sergeant back to uh, on the street, pal. How about you lose $20,000 a year in your paycheck? Oh, you don't like shaking people down and writing them tickets all day? How about you get put back out there, uh, you know, where you started 10 years ago? Oh, you don't like that? How about you just get out of here? And a lot of them do get, oh, it's like, good. We got people that are willing to do whatever they're told. You just get out of the force. And so the conversion towards pure evil accelerates. And I want to beg all of you out there to realize that a lot of us have disengaged from the system because we know we don't have a choice within the system with people like Mitt Romney. But it is a mandate. It is a it is a vote against liberty that people voted for Obama. Not that not that either guy would have done really something different. It's just that Obama openly says you didn't build that. Openly that we're collectivist. Openly that uh, banning all guns is good in the past. And now he's coming after the guns. Now they're coming out with the legislation. They physically want them. Visit infowars.com and prisonplanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want.